this is not going to end well. This is a poem called Long Island Sound. So it's not easy telling 65 million people across 12 states, you just can't take it, so you're taken off. And therefore, I'm going to start off nice and soft and slow and sweet. You know, the way you need your news in the Midwest. I'll even give you the old line, because it's true, it is me, it's not you. And it's not right of me to make you suffer my tragic top volume vitriol from the lawnmower blade tongue anymore. So I'm going back east where people can take the truth without a spoonful of sugar first. <sighs> yeah, this, this whole being nice thing really isn't working out for me now, is it? It never has. And my sarcasm is about as subtle as sky writing. I am obviously so goddamn sick of you spineless, Bible-thumping, butthurt little babies. And it's not my fault, because it just wasn't raised right. I mean, I grew up in a place where kindness often took the form of, look, you little bastard, if you weren't so wonderful. <laughs> and beautiful and hilarious. There's no way I'd put up with all this shit from you. But you know what? That made it really easy to figure out who your friends were because they were the ones busting your balls every day and they were loyal to you regardless of what anybody ever had to say. They saw through you to the soul and they could recognize your stupid smiling face through several crowded city blocks and they would come running and yelling to embrace you on both cheeks before punching you in the ribs with their thumb and make no mistake about it none of them were friendly but they made great friends and you showed your affection to each other by screaming about everything and anything you cared about. And sometimes you did agree, but most of the time you wrestled with what was real. And you argued about a better tomorrow. And you know what? Everybody agreed that they were better for it. And it's true that I'm broken because all my friends are beautiful assholes. And I think the most kind thing you could call a woman is a brutal bitch because it means she's fearless and tough and she takes care of her own. My aunts refer to their husbands as that ugly, worthless, fat slob over there, even as it's the farthest thing from the truth, even as they're the best friends they've ever had. My uncles are saints who treat their wives like sunlight, but you know, they like to laugh about it because they understand irony and savage commitment. So I'm sorry, but I equate being made fun of with belonging and empty compliments with contempt. So when I got a pocket full of change and strong opinions, charity always takes the form of sharing my two cents no matter whose fragile fucking ego is hurt because blunt brutal banter is my concept of kindness and where i come from friends always fire back with a shit-eating grin and that's how you know they're going to be standing right next to you through thick and thin and maybe that's the problem <laughs> that I just wasn't raised right. That I don't understand how to balance on the razor thin of Midwestern polite. Where treating people the way I want to be treated means that I'm some kind of brutal, abusive asshole. And this wouldn't matter to me so much if it wasn't such a colossal misunderstanding. So, you know, I might be crazy. I might even be an asshole, but I'm not insane, so I'm going back where I know my friends are going to greet me with, hey, good morning, motherfucker, and I will instantly know that that means, yo, bro, we love you like family. <laughs>